Oh, wait. Are they seeing me now? Oh, wait. No, where's the... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Corey. There's no one in the picture. Okay. <laughs> Corey. There's our audience. Hi. Oh, hey, look at those good-looking people. All right. <laughs> Have you ever heard the phrase, what if you woke up tomorrow with only the things that you were thankful for today? Could you imagine what that would be like if you woke up tomorrow and all you had were the things that you were grateful for today? Would you, uh, would you be surprised? Would you be like, oops, I forgot to think for those things. Now, gratefully, that's not how gratitude works exactly. But in some ways it does. So think of some of the things you're grateful for in your life. Are you grateful for friends or family or individuals, people, leaders? Are you grateful for your job or your schooling, your education, the things that you do like that? Are you grateful for money? Is that something that's important to you and that you're grateful for in your life? Are you grateful for the things that you have, maybe a car or a house or a computer or an iPhone? Now, in a very real sense, if we do not make an effort to be grateful for these things in our lives, then they literally can begin to disappear. And we can wake up tomorrow. And those things can be gone. So I'd like to do a little exercise with you, if I can, for just a moment, if you would uh, participate with me. I want you to think of something in your life that you are extremely grateful for. Something that you can't think of uh, without making you, you happy. Something that, you're, that makes you happy, that you're grateful for. Can you think of something? Maybe it's a husband or a spouse. Or maybe it's a family member or a leader. Maybe it's a thing that you have that you're grateful for. Now you might notice as you think of things that you're grateful for that it changes your attitude, right? It makes you smile, it kind of makes you lift up, it makes you happy when you think of things that you're grateful for. Now we're going to do the opposite, okay? Just for a moment, we're not going to dwell on it, but I want you to think of something in your life that stinks. Something in your life that when you think about it, you're, you're just... It makes you feel down a little bit. Something in your life that's maybe hard or difficult or you just don't know what to do. You got something? Well, you might have noticed that that kind of makes you feel a little bit different too. And sometimes that can manifest on the outside. You can get uh, sad or feel down. Um, and you might have a face somewhat like that when you think of something that is stinky. Now, what we want is to have faces like this. We want to have faces of gratitude. Because then, when our gratitude manifests on the outside, we can attract good and even great things to us. So I've entitled my speech, um, Grateful Life Equals a, a Fully Great Life. As we are grateful, we can be have fully great and I believe that that is true. Another way to say it is gratitude equals greatness. So let's take a moment, and what does gratitude mean? Well, Dr. Emmons, Robert Emmons, or Emmons, he said, an affirmation of goodness. Number one, a gra gratitude is an affirmation of goodness. It's recognizing that there's good in the world and good in our lives. And number two, the second half of gratitude is an outside source. We have to recognize or affirm that there's an outside source. Some might refer to that as a creator, or sometimes that's a person. But those are the two parts, the two halves of gratitude. Goodness, recognizing goodness, and recognizing the source of that goodness. And so, what is greatness? If we want, if we, if our goal is greatness, what is it? Well, we could spend a lot, a lot of time thinking about and maybe discussing what greatness is. But for the purposes of this discussion, I'd like to just refer to greatness as happiness, because ultimately that's the goal. Lots of people in the world, that's what they're searching for. They're searching for happiness. Um, Steve Marboli said, "If you want to find happiness." Find gratitude. If you want happiness first, you need to find gratitude. Now, many people in the world are, are searching for happiness. Some people are searching for happiness in... Uh... <laughs> All right. 
Some people are searching for happiness in drugs or alcohol. Some people try to find it in money or power of some sort. Some people even try to find it in immorality and things like that. But I believe the true source of all happiness uh, begins with gratitude. Now, in the world that we live in, there are a lot of complaints. Uh, you might uh, find yourself in this cartoon. Uh, where, where are you? When have you complained? Uh, when I showed this uh, picture to my wife, she mentioned that this guy over here, he is he's the, in the gratitude line. He's reading a book, so he's not even expecting anybody to come and to show gratitude towards him. While this person in the complaint line, you can't even see him uh, at this point because he's probably so weighed down by all the complaints uh, that he's receiving. And so where are you in this picture? Are you in this line or are you getting ready to jump over to this line? Hopefully, we're jumping to the gratitude line. Uh, most people, well, gratitude is the number one way to change your life from the inside out, said Dr. Joe Vitale. Um, most people are in the complaint line because they want to change something. They want something in their life to ch change, and so they complain about it, thinking that's what's going to bring about this change in their life. But in reality, if we want to change our life, from we need to start on the inside out with gratitude. And have less faces like this. Okay. <laughs> now, if you have a hard time of thinking of something to be grateful for, I think all of us, if we think long enough, we can think of something to be grateful for. But these are just four, uh, four ideas that you could use when you're trying to think of something to be grateful for in your life. I like to call it the grateful for plan. And uh, the first thing is people. If you're looking for something to be grateful for, look to the people in your life. All of us have make, met great people who have influenced us or helped us in some way. Be grateful for them. And in this category, I would also put uh, divinity of, of some sort, whether that's uh, be grateful for God or our Creator. Also, life. Um, be grateful for life. Be grateful for your experiences. Be grateful for the past. Be grateful for the present. And be grateful for the future because we have it. And it's here. Why not be grateful for it? Also, the next is the, our abilities and our attributes. All of us have abilities or attributes of some type that have helped us or blessed us or made us happy in life. And so be grateful for those attributes and abilities that you have. And then finally, uh, nature. This wonderful world that we live in, the great things that we have. If you're having a hard time finding something to be grateful for, go climb a mountain and just be grateful for that experience that we have in this wonderful world. And if you noticed... If you take the first letter of all of those, it spells the word plan. So you could use those four ideas in your plan uh, to, of things to be grateful for. Now finally, uh, we list our things that we're grateful for, or in other words, we count our many blessings. Uh, one of my favorite authors and speakers was named Neil A. Maxwell, and he said, we should certainly count our blessings, but we should also make our blessings count. So how do we do that? How do we make our blessings count? Well, the time in our, uh, in our daily lives, I guess, where we most think about our blessings or count our blessings is during Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving. Uh, just real quickly, everybody throw out your favorite Thanksgiving uh, dish. Ready? One, two, three, go. Turkey. <laughs> Stuffing. Double egg. Ooh, double egg. Those are good. Uh, those are mine, too. So I love them all. Yeah. <laughs> So I love, uh, I love Thanksgiving. What a wonderful time you got. Family, you got football, you got friends, you got fatness. It's just a, a great time uh, to count our blessings. But moving on from that, how do we make our blessings count? Well, I think we, it's found right here in the word Thanksgiving, something that we do every year, and that is by giving. We give of what we've received and what are the things that we are grateful for. How do we make our blessings count? We give. We look for opportunities to share what we've been given and to bless the lives of others. That is how we make our blessings count. And I'd like to end, in conclusion, I'd like to end with what many sources have said are the two most important words in the English language. And those two words are, thank you.